Okay, guys, so for my year eight, guys, if you're not wanting to do F1 because you might have done that in year seven or you prefer a different option, here's the other option for you. And that's that as a group, you guys will be doing the 4 by 4 in schools unit. And this is the basic project. You can see you've got your uh, car body or the chassis and stuff inside here. You can design your own wheels uh, and a shell. This is a pretty good example from the year eights last year. So it involves um, some laser cutting, 3D printing, vacuum forming, electronics, painting, as well as the design of uniforms and graphics and all the other cool stuff that goes along with it. So in the second video I show you guys, uh, we're going to focus on all the graphics and other stuff you've got to do. But for this video here, uh, I'm going to go through, all right, well, when you're coming up with the concept for your vehicle, uh, how do you do that? And you're reasonably good at coming up with concepts already. The only thing you've got to consider is basically the existing structure of it needs four wheels, it's going to need some lights, it's going to need uh, a tow bar and a bumper bar. I think that's about all the things you have to have and a way to connect it to the chassis. Other than that, your version of a vehicle could be anything. And a couple of years back, um, I think our group of girls actually won the Innovation Award because their vehicle looked like a UFO. So what your vehicle is is up to you. But let's just start now and go through our steps for coming up with a really cool concept. I'm always going to start with these three lines. I don't necessarily draw these lines when I'm coming up with a concept, but to help you with that theory of everything can fit inside a box, um, there's my box or my shape. Okay, I'll lightly go and put in, I know that some wheels need to be here, all right, so that I can get a rough idea of where things go. And then from there, I'm going to go, all right, well, what sort of shape do I want my vehicle to be? I'm going to try and come up with something totally unique, um, maybe something that's inspired by a lady beetle. That sounds pretty cool, all right. So I'm going to do my outline and go over the top, or lady beetle slash computer mouse maybe um, or slash Volkswagen Beetle and have something that goes a little bit like this yeah it looks cool all right cool so now if I go and dark outline my shape so that stands out and it probably goes a little bit in behind there I might be able to add some more detail now and go all right if I've got a fully rounded front maybe just here I would have my windscreen Okay, and maybe here I might have some protruding lights. Sort of come out a little bit like that. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. All right, and a front grill. Yeah, not a bad first pattern here. Uh, on the side here, I might have the guards that are sort of rounded out a little bit. So let's add a little bit of shape there to it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, some side mirrors. Yeah, let's make them look. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, this one here, I'm going to go with an open sunroof because I reckon that'd be cool. And the open sunroof might actually functionally let me access inside the vehicle a little bit better as well. So in there is where I can access all my stuff. Okay. Uh, out the back, let's add a rear spoiler on. Okay. So. This is a pretty cool looking vehicle. Hey, I think I even want to go in this competition. It's going to be fun. All right. There's a rear spoiler, and I'm not going to really see much of the stuff out the back. Uh, let's get a door panel on. And again, you can see I'm not sticking to traditional shapes here. I'm really going with some um, funky changes and alterations. Now I'll go and darken those uh, wheels. And... Mm -hmm. Like we sort of hinted at before, wheels don't have to be standard wheels. So inside here, I might try and come up with some sort of three-pronged special mag. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about this on the spot, but anyway. Yeah, that looks nice and futuristic. Okay, so oh, I've got one of my bands rocking in the background because in isolation, having a bit of music running is always nice to... Uh, Keep a bit of atmosphere going. All right. All right, so now that I've got that shape in my vehicle, it might be time to come up with some uh, darker lines. I'm going to whip out the black pen here and just try and finalise some lines and shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, cool, yeah, in here, I'll probably get some darkness. Yeah, but maybe around the eyes of the bonnet. Alright, cool, the wheels. Now, of course, there's a whole lot of functional things you need to consider here when you're coming up with your design about how it's going to work. Uh, I won't worry about too much colour and shade for now, but I will try and make the windows a bit darker. And maybe clear around there a little bit. Just so we can see that they are the windows. Probably a bit of a rear windscreen there. Alright, cool. And now I'm going to start going into the aesthetics and the uh, how I can sell my drawing. And I'll start to look at some features like showing off that the lights are out here. Okay, and some lines there. Uh, I'll go through with my black outline around the outside. Just to make it stand out. I don't actually think I've got a coloured pencil with me, but normally I put a nice coloured pencil shape behind me. Let's just go a little drop shadow. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. And then it's down, or well now it's coming up to, all right, let's how do I present my page? So in this case, with limited tools here, I've only got a pencil, a black, red pen, red marker, black marker. I might sort of pretend that that's on the road and just draw a road or a rough example of a road. Okay. Uh, up here, I'll put my heading and I'm just going to be reasonably boring here and just make a quick 4x4 four four, um, little mini logo. And again, in this unit of work, you've got to come up with the graphic design for a lot of things. Um, so you might not call yours 4x4, four four, you might call it the bug or whatever else it might be. 4x4 uh, four four concept one. Okay. Concept one. And yeah, I might put a shape behind it. Again, limited tools, but no excuses. You just make it look as good as you can with what you got. I'll use a bit of red. There we go. Bit of red. All right. Need some uh, borders around the page. Okay, just to wrap it up. My designer name, I might make it big because I've got all this space over here. Let's just go SDLA Designs. All right. And... All right, now, without adding annotations and whatnot yet, because I'm pretty happy with the concept, um, that is kind of what I'm looking at for version one of my first version of my 4x4 concept. I wonder what you guys might be able to come up with. See you soon, guys.